Welcome to Digging with Deej. Um, we're going to do something a little different on Tuesdays. I am back to the cellar hole permission. And number one, the power line trimmers filled the middle of the hole with trees. So that's not good. So as you can see, This used to all be total shade, and now it's not. And these trees right here were here. And maybe even this one here. But those over there, and this monster here, and the ones over on the other side, those were not here. But when I started checking out the cellar hole, it almost looks like somebody else has been digging here. There's a pile. So hopefully they will stop digging here because I haven't been here in a year and there's places dug here that I have never dug. So somebody's been here without permission. So I'm over on the other side of the cellar hole. Um, it took some breaking of some branches and seeing what was safe to walk under and what wasn't. Um, it looks like I can still dig over here, but they did knock down some trees here. The uh, tree trimmer, you know, the line electric company tree trimmers. So it doesn't appear that anybody's been digging on this side. So this just shocks me. You know, I just walked over here from presenting the property owner with the ironstone crock that I restored, I verified, not even knowing this, you know, not even having been to the cellar hole yet, when I took the ironstone crock to the owner, and he was thrilled, by the way. He absolutely loves it. And um, he wanted to know if maybe the museum would want it, and I said, I'm not sure. Um, when I've talked to them about this in the past, they weren't too gun ho on making a new display regarding the tornado. So, and he said, well, if they do want it, I'd be more than happy to give it to them. I said, okay. And I said, if I find any more pieces, I will take it back from you and put them in there. <laughs> and verified that I still had permission. And just not even knowing what I was going to discover here asked him if anyone else had ever asked permission you know asked for permission to the cellar hole and he said no that i'm the only one that's ever asked permission he's caught one person digging in it um the same year that i asked permission but it was before i came along and he was so impressed that i asked permission that he granted it so so I called a friend and they suggested that um, they could come over with their trail cameras. And I said, well, I'd be worried somebody would steal them and I don't want to be responsible for your loss. And he said, no, no, I have, I have a trail camera system of several cameras that can't be stolen. He said they would literally have to chop a tree down to steal them because it's some kind of cable that can't be cut. So, I don't know. It's expensive stuff. and I, It just kind of worries me that he's willing to do that. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think. But I can't impress enough. When you locate a site on a map, find out who the owner is and go knock on the door and get permission first just because someplace might might be a woods doesn't mean that it's a free-for-all <laughs> you know somebody owns that property and if it's state property you can't not in the state of michigan they have designated areas you are allowed to metal detect and that's it you know some counties are more lenient, some are tougher. It just depends on the area. So, 
please be sure to ask permission first. So let me show you this side of the cellar hole. There's where all the trees were put in the middle here. We got a groundhog right up there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and let my friend set up his camera system here. Um, but if, if we do decide to do it, if we catch anything on film, I will be sure to put it up on Tuesdays. You know, who knows what we'll catch on film. We might catch, you know, the resident groundhog or some wildlife deer coming through here. Um, we might catch a trespasser. Who knows? Um, or we could catch something paranormal. The reason why I say that, for those of you that know me well, know that I've had two experiences at the cellar hole. When I was digging at each end of this cellar hole. One time it happened when I was over on that side of the cellar hole and one time when I was over on this side of the cellar hole like three, two or three weeks apart and I'm digging away peaceful, quiet and uh, digging away and all of a sudden I hear somebody say what are you looking for? And I stop digging, and I turn around, and I'm looking to try to figure out who's talking to me. I stand up, and up, stand up, and I start scanning the the edges of the cellar hole, you know, the perimeter. I don't see anybody. So I climb up out of the cellar hole and walk through the woods around the cellar hole, and I, I could not find anybody. And it happened to me on two different occasions, and both times I checked. The second time it happened to me, I climbed up out of the hole, and there was a deer standing there looking down in the cellar hole. <laughs> I know the deer didn't talk to me. So, it creeped me out a little bit, but I mean, it was daylight, so I felt safe. I mean, I believe there is another plane of existence, but they're just people. You know? So, who knows what we'll catch on film if I decide to let my friend do this. It'll be interesting to see. But any film that we do get, I will be sure to to put something together and upload it on Tuesdays. We will leave Fridays for the treasure hunting videos. And I'll be, I'm anxiously awaiting your comments, your thoughts on what you think I should do about this. So, but it was really sad to see that somebody else, you know, I don't know if it's somebody that just was following a trail and, and came on this property and just assumed that it was okay to get down in that hole and dig. I don't know. But it's not cool. I was very disappointed when I saw that. So thank you for watching. I look forward to your comments. And we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, commenting, and sharing. Your support helps my channel grow.